A police officer called twice to the same street to find the same young child playing in traffic. Tonight, a Middletown mom is facing child endangering charges. But as Nine on Your Side's Julie O'Neill learned, there is more here than meets the eye. I'm standing here on busy Yankee Road in Middletown, which suffice it to say, is not a safe place for a four-year-old child to be riding his bike. His mom issued this summons after it happens a second time. But she says, wait, my son has autism. You see the reaction of four-year-old Jackson as daddy comes home. Imagine his dad's reaction when he learned his little boy had ridden his bicycle down busy Yankee Road to come see him at work. A stranger picked him up and then called Middletown Police and they notified me that he was at my shop. And I was like, really? And they said, well, he was on his bike on his way down to see you. And I was like, wow. Matthew Demerit not completely surprised, though. He does have autism. Um, he's very smart, though, with it. Um, all the windows have been screwed closed. We have door alarms on. Um, the air conditioners, they're screwed down so they can't be pushed out. Um, there's a lot of, we've done a lot of things to try to keep him in the house, and it's just, there's a lot riding on it. There's a lot of stress with it. Terry Wiseman remembers pinning identification to her son's shoes. He didn't have the verbal skills either, so if he ever was lost, I knew he couldn't say my name, his name, where he was. Now Terry works with other families of autistic kids and encourages them to keep looking for answers. Keep looking, keep searching, because there are a lot of different opportunities out there. Young Jackson's parents are getting help from Butler County Children's Services because of their schedules. In the meantime, I have tweeted out a link to AutismSpeaks.org if you or someone you know is in need of these kinds of resources. In Middletown, Julie O'Neill, 9 on your side.